Hi! Welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, welcome! My name is Umakuma, and today we are going to be playing Fallacy Quiz. I'm sure that it's uh, quite apparent that, uh, well, <laughs> I'm not exactly the smartest cookie in the jar. Dude, I don't know how to use one of these. So, uh, yeah, this, uh, this is gonna be interesting. What even is the definition of a fallacy? Hey, Siri. What's the definition of a fallacy? Fallacy means a mistaken belief, especially one based on unsound argument. Well, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome to Fallacy Quiz. You know how sometimes people try to persuade you by using misleading or incorrect reasoning? That's what we call fallacies. By mastering Fallacy Quiz, you might get better at spotting them. Each game for three rounds of five questions, you have to identify whether or not the presented statement is fallacious. Fallacious. Formal fallacies are easy to spot because they're explicitly invalid, but informal fallacies seem logical while what they imply is not. The faster and more accurately you choose, the higher your score. Oh no. As you play, you can unlock pages from the fallacy glossary and improve your critical thinking skills to be better equipped to avoid being manipulated by flawed reason. So put on your thinking cap and get ready to challenge your mind in fallacy quiz. The round one. Ready? No. Oh no. Okay. Oh no, am I being timed? Okay, immigration is not a financial burden. Burden. Okay, immigration is not a financial burden, and yes, cultural diversity. Wait a minute. Um, 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 um. Felicia, so let's go out the set. What you just said sounds like a far right talking point. Felicia? Well done, it was guilt by association. You are so hot. I'm sure you'll help me carry this thing. <laughs> Fallacious. Well done. It was appeal to flattery. Ah. Humans are mortal, and I am a human. Therefore, I am mortal. Um. Uh, valid. Well done. It was valid. See, this is where it starts getting confusing for me. It's because, like, I always overthink things and think about the situation. Uh, yes, there are allegations against him, but he's not all there mentally nowadays. We should let him be. Ah, fallacious. Well done. It was appeal to pity. Oh. Wow. I've ordered twice, and twice I've received the damage package. I'm never ordering anything online again. Okay, see... Oh, well, you know what, fallacious, because you said online. Um, people who think we should sort our trash are idiots. Fallacious, even though that's, well, no, appeal to spite. Just because we've never done it doesn't mean it's impossible. Uh, valid. Because you don't know until you try. I see what you mean. That's exactly what an idiot would say, actually. Um... I... <laughs> Palacious? There's unemployment so young people were... There's unemployment so young people will have... So young people have more difficulty finding jobs? Palacious? Wait, what? Nope, it was valid. How do we know? Wait, what? Okay, round two. Ready? There is nothing artificial about it, that's why it's good. Hey. 
fallacious appeal to nature. We've never before put diced tomatoes in guacamole, therefore we shouldn't do it now. No. Appeal to tradition. If I play the lottery my whole life, I will win eventually one day for sure. Valid. No, that is valid! What? Wait, but that's a valid statement though, technically, because you never... Because they never really specified what lottery. If I play like the million dollar lottery um, all my life, at some point I am bound to win, then yes, that would be a fallacious statement. Like, because they didn't specify the type of lottery, that could mean anything from a scratch off to the million dollar lottery. In between any of those, you will win the lottery at least one time. Will it be a million dollars? Probably most definitely not. Like with a scratch off card, for example, you can win anything from $5 to $1, $1,000, over $1,000. Um, is it based off of luck? Yes, but, <laughs> and I don't gamble. Okay, there have been times where people have bought me scratch off cards for birthday presents, for Christmas, for activities, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> those are the only times I've used scratch offs, trust me. But there have been times where I've played scratch offs and I've won something. Was it a lot of money? No. <laughs> but my point is, I won something. The catch with scratch off tickets, at least here, is they're cheap so that people buy more than one. If someone wins something, that makes people buy more of them. I personally have never heard of anyone playing scratch offs for their entire life and never winning anything. Um, that's just from personal experience though, so I don't know. Okay, but, okay, but it was Kant himself who said that. No. So, appeal to authority. You want to end the world? You want to end world hunger? Oh, please. When do you plan on doing that next Tuesday? Relations? Appeal to ridicule. Gosh, some of these, I, I was never aware of any of these. If my, I myself claim that God exists, you can always try to prove that he doesn't, though. Fallacious. Burden of proof. More people prefer apples to oranges, so apples... So apples are better than oranges. Even though I personally agree that's, that's fallacious. Uh, appeal to popular belief. You don't want any cake? Okay then, I won't give you any. Okay, valid? After an airplane crashed because of a malfunction, the accused pilot was flying the plane and 200 people died in the crash. What? Cherry pick what? Wait, what? go back to that one. I don't think I paid attention to it fully. Um, I, that was, I think it was because, oh, 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 I overlooked that one. I, I, that was my bad. I forgot that it said, um, it said the cause, which was due to a malfunction, and then it accused the pilot, um, saying that they were responsible. That was my bad. I didn't think about that one. The Uma. All right, if we don't do something about this, your children might start wanting to change their gender. Fallacious. Appeal to fear. Results, oh no. Easy mode, right answer is 12, wrong answer is three, max combo five, final score, 3,810. Yay! I don't know, let's try to get all of them right. 
This person is proposing an increase of the retirement age. You want to keep it where it is now. I am neutral in this matter. Let's slightly increase it so everyone will be happy. How do you know everyone will be happy though? Middle ground. Oh, you want to know if the car is old? Oh, well, actually the transmission has just been changed. Palacious. Red herring. Yeah, I was gonna say that doesn't mean that the car isn't old. <laughs> You have bad grades in physics, but considering the price of your teacher, you should be getting an A+. Fallacious, that doesn't mean anything. Appeal to money, yeah, money doesn't... Money doesn't mean that you're smart. <laughs> uh, I don't agree with the big movie critics. I like this movie because it was a good time. No, 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 that was valid. Gosh dang it. Ah, look at these two curves on this chart. They're almost identical. So one must imply the other. No. Wrong. Correlation, causation, confusion. I'm not going to remember any of these definitions. And that is a valid statement. All the great movie critics love this movie, so it's weird that you don't like it. Fallacious. Appeal to authority. Really? I guess. Uh, I just got out of the salon and I got a really bad haircut. I think I can ask them for a refund. Uh, valid? Yeah. What you just said sounds like a propaganda technique the Soviets used. Uh, guilt by association. Uh, that may be true for you, but it isn't for me. Valid? Oh, valid! What? Uh, you say that protesters shouldn't damage schools. That's really... That's real cool for all the other buildings. Thanks. Wait, you say that shouldn't... Uh... Malacious, jumping to conclusions. Yes, but electing this guy won't put an end to all suffering in this country. Valid. That is valid! What? Fortunately, you have read a lot of books, so you'll be able to realize you were wrong. What? No. Appeal to flattery. No one has ever traveled through time, so I find it hard to believe that it could be possible. Valid. Um, if you have connections, you can find a job. If you don't have them, though, you just won't get a job. Fallacious. Correlation, causation, confusion. You don't want any cake? Everyone loves chocolate. Uh, everybody loves chocolate, though. No. Not everybody loves chocolate. My grandma happens to hate it. Fallacy Glossary. Oh. So apparently there's a lot more. Uh, okay, so false dilemma. Often in a discussion, you may be asked to choose between several possibilities, and this can be useful for clarifying positions. But sometimes the list of choices presented isn't complete. Some choices are presented, while others are hidden. By choosing one of these options, even though what you actually think was not given as a choice, you end up defending positions that you would have never defended otherwise. The best thing to do is ignore the proposed choices and answer the question as if it were open-ended. Okay, let, I want to know what their definition of valid is. Uh, valid? 
This is simply a statement without any obvious formal or informal fallacies. They're just not telling you the truth and... Okay. Uh, appeal to money. We often confuse the price of a product uh, or service with its quality. Some people exploit the mis Some people exploit this mistake to make it seem like a product or service is hot of higher quality just based on its higher price. Better to base our judgment on actual proof of quality. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense in the, uh, in the context that they used it in uh, with the teacher. That makes sense, yeah. Correlation, causation, confusion. When two things evolve in the same way, meaning they are correlated, it can seem like one of them implies the other. But correlation isn't enough to deduce causality. Uh, if two cars are traveling at the same speed, it doesn't mean that one of them is towing the other. Or you can be led to believe in non-existent casual relationships just by showing you correlations. So be careful and never hesitate. Bust out a correlation doesn't imply causation. Right. Well, that was the fallacy quiz. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't do as bad as I thought I was going to. <laughs> but I think the game is great. I love the glossary. Um, there is now an update out that also includes the custom mode and the expert mode. So if you want to try this game out for yourself, I will leave a link in the description box below. I'm definitely going to follow the development of this game um, and keep playing it just for my own sake. <laughs> because I think that I can really, really benefit from this game. <laughs> and I honestly just think it's a really good game to, uh, you know, continue playing just to keep my, my gears turning. Anyway, guys, that's all the time that I have for today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want, only if you want. You can also subscribe, and if you do, make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next time that I upload. Anyway guys, it's been so much fun. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.